Okay. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I have a package to open. Yeah. Uh, I know what this is. Weapons collector got me onto it. It actually arrived on Wednesday, Friday today, sorry, Saturday today. And um, of course, I was at work, the post office tried to deliver, no joy. So I could either have it re delivered or sent to a local post office for a fee or collect it and collect it on Saturday which is today from the distribution centre so I opted to wait until now and collect it I'm surprised at how big this box is, considering what it is. Aha! Uh -huh. That explains why it's so big. And you're probably wondering, what the hell is that? expecting it to be this heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. That's heavy. So is that. So I think I know what these three are and I know what those are. So let's start with the light ones. As you can tell by the title, this is a survival stick. It's a stick that has, um, it's made of sections and it's also got blade tools in it. This just happens to be the Tanto blade that I pulled out first. It's a nice box. blade and it's got this sort of spring mechanism just in there so push that in and you can actually tilt the blade so you have it at a right angle so I guess you can use it like this by itself because that forms a handle Okay, so that's one. Two. Get in. Okay, there we go. The second one is. saw blade so that's a cutting blade for straps paracord seat belts all this stuff and also a wood saw that cuts on the pull not the push actually it probably could 
cut and the push, but mostly on the pull, as you can tell by the direction of the teeth. And this is fixed. It's quite firm, quite solid. And I've got so like a metallic bronze or brown brown colour to the anodization of the um, the body. Because I wasn't, I didn't care what um, what colour I got. Okay, judging by this end being heavy, I reckon that's the handle. So, yep. The what I classify as probably the Tanto spear point, and the other one is the Tanto as well. And this is spear point, it's got serrations down the bottom here, down the bottom's got serrations, and then it's got so like is is ridged at the top, which I guess you can use as um, fish descaler. It's blunt at the top, and then the blade is at the center tip, down underneath. That's also quite good to be able to use handed like this. So these sections will be the bodies. This is a tubular section. And on it you have what's that flashlight? Through night T ten. when you don't have a proper full-size tripod you have to fiddle around no, screw it anyway, each section has a little little um, icon that shows a shifting spanner so you can attach one of those tools to this end and the little icon tells you which one you have these individually do screw together with uh, a rubberized o-ring creating a waterproof seal so I recommend uh, greasing that up with Vaseline that's quite a snug fit that is actually really heavy quite solid aluminium not just some thin flimsy stuff the third one
Hmm, texture is different. The third one is smooth all the way. The other two got more sort of um, texture to the grip. So, what I would do I would have it like that. I'd have the textured grip at the top and the bottom and then a smooth section in the middle. But this has got some weight to it. It is not cheap aluminium. You get hit with that. Yeah, you can have a headache for a week. Now, how do these work? What you do is you select whichever one you want to go into whichever tube you want. So what I would do is the hook and the wood saw I'll put into the um, smooth handle mainly because it's different from the other two. The other two are mostly bladed this is more of a tool. So what you do okay, without anything in it that's 8 16 it's a good 20 inches long without any tools. So you take the tool, you attach it. So you can carry the tools separate in I know, a pouch or something like that and then attach them as you need them. You know, saw and the hook. Or you can leave them attached and then insert them. So you've just added, because of the body, you've just added another inch and a half in length. So you get the idea. It's getting heavier. Now the final tool, unfortunately, you cannot put that at the top there because you've got no cover for it. It has to go in the bottom. Now I left this one to last because this is the one that turns like that and also this is the one that you can actually hold properly without your finger being on the blade so this works really well as a pocket knife so that's why I chose this last to insert it up the bottom so there you have a long basically defense tool um, with three tools inside now <coughs> come to the small boxes small boxes are the end caps with I believe it's a tungsten carbide tip glass breaking tip So, because that's down the bottom, I can grab the blade grip 
uh, of which there is also a small icon. You can see it there, it tells you what it is. Up here, it also tells you what that is. And here, also tells you what shalom that is. <coughs> So you can, don't grab this, grab that, turn it, out comes your tool, stone. Now because I've got the end cap on there, it's now a bigger handle and it fits in the hand really well. If need to, what you can do is very carefully because the blade's right there. Take that end cap off, attach this to the front, so you have a stabby stabby weapon, but also, push that in, now you've got something that you can actually use as a hook if you need to grab something from a distance. I'm actually glad this isn't black. I like the brown. If it's black, it's too too tactical. And um, some people are reckoning that, oh yeah, it's a weapon. But no, I see this as tools. So by not being black, it's actually less offensive, if you know what I mean. For all those fucking politically correct do-gooders out there. Now, the end cap, I just put that on. I've got two more boxes. Which is another end cap. Which you think go on the top, which it does. But it's a male. That's a male. So obviously you need an adapter. That is what the last last one is. It is a female female adapter. This thing is heavy. About 27 and a half inches long and this thing's a beast fuck yeah Paul you should get one Peter you should get one Scott get one 
Funky, get one. Roach, Pete, Dean, Jay, everybody watching this, get one of these things. It is, it's a beast. Almost looks like it could be a lightsaber. But for general carry out and about, I would not carry this. This is for when you go bush, when you go out into the woods. What I would do, take off one end cap. I'd take off, um, <coughs> say, I don't know, the top. Now remember that there, that knurling shows a tool and it shows you on the other side what it is. So grab that and turn the bit in front of it. So what you pulled off so what you pulled off is just a hollow tube with the double adapter. So now you've got the three bladed tools in here. Now this like I said, it's just a hollow tube. And this is the end cap with the double adapter. That's sort of the length of this thing. idea there's two pens now the depth probably use one that's not damaged again Resting on top. So that's the depth that you got to work with inside. Good eight inches, I'd say. Put the other end cap on. <coughs> Here you have an emergency rescue tool because you've got glass breakers at either end you've got a self-defense item self-defense tool but also because you have the um, storage inside the idea I had when I first saw it Second, with me. Possible first aid kit. No, that won't go in. Slightly narrow on the inside. But you get the idea. This is a polymath product uh, first aid kit. So you can easily take the idea of their first aid kit that fit in no it's a bit snug but you get the idea make up your own kit first aid kit similar to this math product atom light three for a tenner basically polymath product first aid kit single use but this if you carry a first aid kit in this 
no blades but a first aid kit um, you can have this in your backpack as an emergency rescue tool someone's stuck in a car car crash you need to break the glass break the glass use this to knock the loose glass out open it up you can have um, surgical gloves you can have first aid kit uh, painkillers all sorts of stuff got a good eight inch um, space in here uh, to work with and then when you do go out into the wilderness go camping take the end cap off take the first aid kit out if you choose uh, by the way uh, what have I done here? oh yeah wrong way around uh, put your tool back inside then recap the ends and you have a wilderness survival stick this thing's long I was not expecting it to be this heavy uh, weapons collector thank you very much for your video because yeah you gave me the idea to get one of these So I will leave the link where I got this on the bottom, so in the description box, which is down the bottom if YouTube hasn't changed it. But for now, I am gonna Repurpose one of the tubes. And once you've got the actual tube by itself without any of the sharp blades in it, you still have the logo there of a tool, but nothing else. So, glass breaker, glass breaker, first aid kit, rubber gloves, painkillers. Uh, plasters, band-aids, you know, um, <clears throat> anything you want, you know, ladies even carry tampons in this, uh, spare key, one of those little tiny miniature wet weather raincoats, you can roll it up and stuff it inside this, and whatever it was, get, get some Vaseline, and um, really make that seal waterproof, um, grease up with Vaseline, it screws in and out quite easily until you get to the um, o-ring then you really gotta put some effort into it so I guarantee that this is waterproof the tightness of that o-ring yeah it's got to be waterproof but um, yeah really good product now I haven't got a car window to test that out on but yeah in an emergency something with that sharp of a point will definitely smash the glass so there you have it guys survival stick I know it's only tabletop review but um, yeah maybe uh, next month in December um, I'm maybe going to the 
uh, Camp Shaky uh, prepper meat, Christmas prepper meat. So I'll take this with me if I do, and uh, check out, I'll test out the, the saw, see how good it is. So I'll leave it at that. Okay, thanks for watching everyone, see you next time.